What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Alan Shenanigans. Um, this is I'm Alan. Uh, this is my daughter Alani. Um, today we're gonna be fixing a fill valve in our toilet. Um, it's been uh, starting to make a, a noise. Uh, you know, I don't really care, but my my wife wants me to fix it. She thinks it's kind of embarrassing. So, um, you know, and, and plus, uh, when you start hearing the noise, it, eventually it's going to start leaking. So, um, stay tuned and watch what we do, and I'll, I'll guide you through the process. Okay, guys, before you jump into this, um, what, you, what we need to figure out is... Uh, uh, what needs to be replaced or if there's anything that needs to be replaced on your toilet um, You have the fill valve part and you got the the flush valve part um, If your toilet sounds like it just keeps running it it could be that the the fill valves leaking and, and Sometimes they don't make noise. They just start leaking um, Or it could be your flush valve. So what how you determine that is a uh, if you have to shake your your handle and it stops it that would be your flush valve issue so um, this one's it's not the case with this one this one's actually the fill valves the problem um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first we're gonna drain the water out and I'll show you how to do that um, and then we'll, we'll get to looking at that and seeing what the problem is okay next thing we need to do is just uh, turn the water valve off to the toilet so let me go ahead to Shut that off, and and it should be right behind your toilet. Just uh, if you're not sure which way it is, um, usually the the valves are you know placed in the direction of flow. So if it's if it's uh, if it's parallel with the hose, that's uh, on. Uh, if it's perpendicular to the hose, that's off. Okay, next we're just gonna flush the. The toilet, the water's not on, so it's not going to refill, so we're just going to flush out the water. So go ahead, flush it, and just let it drain out, um, and then whatever's left, we'll scoop out, and... Okay, we flushed out uh, the water, but not all of it gets out of the toilet, and we're going to be taking uh, this part off. So we need to be able to get the rest of the water out of there. So we're just going to scoop the rest out. So this is on the bottom. Um, we just don't want to make a mess. So we'll just, uh, we're just going to scoop the rest out and uh, soak out any leftover with a towel. And that way we can take this out without making too big of a mess. Got as much uh, water out as we could. Um, I put a towel down here just to catch anything as we take it out. So what we need to do now is uh, underneath there's a little nut. We're gonna unhook the hose first and then there's a nut that holds that fill valve in. Um, so we'll get to taking it out now. Underneath and look up.
Yeah. I need some pliers, actually. <clears throat> Okay, well this is what I got. Um, here's the old valve, uh, here's the new one. Um, just to make insulation easier, what I do is just kind of match the height of it on the adjustment. So I'll just, just kind of turn this. And what this thing is, it's, it's the little float where it shuts the water off when it gets to a certain height. And, you just get it about even to where the old one is, and then you can just, you know, find adjust it with this. So, okay, let's go ahead and put it in now. Okay, guys, we're just gonna put the fill valve in. Um, just note that the uh, the rubber seal goes on the inside of the tank, and then I'm just gonna reuse the uh, the factory. Um, Plastic nut because it's it looks a little better than the the new one. So it's uh, in the tank with the uh, seal inside the tank, and I'm just gonna face it with uh, this adjustment knob on facing forward. And then, uh, then we're gonna put the nut on the bottom of that, on the bottom of the tank. And you just want this just uh, slightly tighter than uh, hand tight. So what I'll do is I'll just tighten it as tight as I can. And then just give it just with, with uh, some channel locks, I'm just going to give it just a slight turn. That's about it. And then we're going to put the, the hose back on. And the same thing, I'm, I'm going to just do it slightly tighter than hand tight. So I'm going to tighten it up as tight as I can get it with my hand. And I'm going to take it like just a, just maybe a quarter turn with, with the channel locks. I don't think I had that one all the way tight, so... This one wasn't all the way tight, so I'm just going to make sure I tighten it. And then, um, to come up to the top, we're just going to put the, the hose on here, just make sure you push it on all the way, and take the little adapter, and you just want to make sure that that's out of the way of the, the lever here that pulls up the, the flush valve. And so what I do is I just kind of I just kind of twist it just a little bit. You could cut it to length, but I just I just like to keep it on there just in case I need it. But I'll just kind of take it and just kind of twist it like that. And then uh, next thing we're gonna do is turn the water on, and then we'll let it fill up and check for leaks.
I don't see any leaks so far, so it's looking good. Hey guys, the uh, last thing we got to do is, uh, you know, just adjust uh, the level of the water in here. And all you got to do is just use this knob, and that'll adjust uh, how high that float goes. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, click the bell notification to see any more videos. And, and thanks for your time.